Up until that point, the Earth was the center of the universe. So the Earth was the center of the night sky as it appears. And then Copernicus uh, and others brought about this heliocentric idea, which means that the planets and Earth revolve around the sun. And that really changed everything. And then Kepler built on that and really led us down this path that, okay, this is, we live in a solar system and we're one planet in a sea of infinite suns that have planets around them as well. And so these men of science, did they start to become worshiped? You know, they found the answers, they figured all this out before we actually went up into space and proved it before we went to the moon. Well, there are a lot of people out there who question the moon landing. I personally don't believe we went to the moon. And so you have to ask the question, these men of science figured all this stuff out as we've been taught. Um, and uh, and you know, they, they saw that, that this heliocentric model, this infinitely expanding universe is the world. You know, they, they speculated on this and then we just happened to go up into space in the 50s and 60s, allegedly, and prove that everything they thought is true. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, when you really think about it, step back and think about that. I mean, what are the chances that these men back with no computers, you know, no electronics, you know, all theories, I mean, just writing equations, uh, so, I mean, theoretical physicists of the time really is what they were, they came up with all of this stuff, and then we went, and when we developed the technology to go up into space, allegedly, found out that everything they thought is true. I mean, we really need to question that.